Hey Isaiah, have you heard about this podcast? No, what's it about? It's about Christian spirituality. Really? Yeah, it's called, in the podcast is called Chatting from the Word. That sounds right up my alley. And do you know who hosts the show? Who? Our grandfather. Really? Yeah, get into it. Yeah.
Amen, amen, <clears throat> and amen. Your grace, your grace and mercy brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy. It is two o'clock, and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, here on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Amen, amen, and amen. At least we're trying to hear on Chatting from the Word, putting that snap in your Christian walk, and we are so blessed to do it. We are so blessed to come on at the 2 o'clock hour to bring you this program to get you away from the humdrum, everyday life of what's going on in the world, uh, the bad news on the news and all the election and what they're doing politically. Get you away for a little while so that you can hear uh, a couple of acapella songs and a lesson to top that. Amen and amen. Again, we are so delighted to be with you on this fine, uh, fine afternoon. And I want to, again, thank everyone for wishing me a, another very happy, happy birthday. Uh, we, uh, of course, as you know, we turn to... Uh, another year on yesterday, and uh, everything went just well. The, the Lord has blessed your brother here with another year, and that is just a, a blessing uh, within itself. Welcome, 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 everyone. We hope that you're ready for a wonderful, wonderful program. We hope that all had a wonderful morning. You had a nutritional breakfast. And we hope that you are having a wonderful afternoon. You're having a nutritional lunch. And now, and now it's time for some more nutrition. But this time from the Word of God here on Chatting from the Word. Amen, amen, and amen. We are so glad, so glad, so glad and blessed to do it on this wonderful, wonderful day. And if this be your first time listening, do not make it your last time. Come back and hear some more. We are so thankful that you're listening if this be uh, your first time uh, listening. But we here in Dayton, Ohio, we are having some beautiful, beautiful weather. And we hope that you are having some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather where you are also. The weather people says it's 83 degrees, partly cloudy and sunny. Low chance of precipitation tonight, 20%. Humidity is at 43%. Dew point is at 56 degrees. And pressure is at 30 my friends, I don't know about you, but that sounds like a wonderful, wonderful day. But you know what Brother Oscar's always saying, regardless of what's going on on the outside, it can be raining cats and dogs, it can be 50 feet of snow at my door. But as long as I have the Son of God, I have sunny days 24-7 because I have the S-O-N, the Son of God. Amen and amen. Again, we are so delighted to be with you on this fine, fine Friday. It's Friday, my friends. The last day of some work, some people work week. <laughs> All right, we put it like that. The last day of some people work week and, and some people might be getting paid. So I know they are very blessed. And wearing the smile on their face when that boss man give them that paycheck. <laughs> You know, Brother Oscar's talking about when that boss been giving that paycheck. They, they are happy. I know I would be. I know I would be happy also. But we have a beautiful uh, program for you again. 
for the lesson, of course, the election of grace, taken from Romans 11, 1 through 14. And I believe we're going to uh, begin kind of in probably, I believe, is the eighth or ninth verse of that chapter. So when we get that part of the program, have your Bibles out so that uh, you can uh, be ready to study along with your brother here, Brother Oscar, when we get to that part of the program. And of course, we're going to do our prayer time. Uh, we're going to be playing our prayer anthem, sung by Radiance Acapella. And then the song after prayer time, but before the message, will be will be you didn't turn my pages will be <laughs> uh, the uh, 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 inner city singers and we have for you their song I've Got Jesus and of course after that we're going to have our break we're going to take a break and then we'll come back with the message so my friends just get relaxed excuse <clears throat> me are you relaxed? And if you relax, go have a cup or a glass of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, water, soda water, soda pop, whatever you call it. Uh, a nice glass of cold iced tea or a hot, a cup of hot iced tea. Ice, not iced tea, a cup of hot tea. <laughs> if it's hot, you can't have ice, I'm sorry. A cup of tea. Hot tea. Or uh, a freshly squeezed glass of lemonade or uh, orange juice while you're relaxing. And if you're at home, recline your reclining chair or just stretch out on your couch on the floor while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar. Now, if you're driving, trying to get to point A to point B, keep your eyes on the road. While at the same time, listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym trying to get tough, buff, and mean, and all them huckly things, <laughs> like it, say it like that, or just exercising, put your earbuds on while you're exercising so that you can continue on listening to your brother here. Brother Oscar York, and we're so glad, we're so glad that you are listening on this fine afternoon. Amen. And amen. Where are we? Where are we? We will be right back after these messages.
Amen, amen, and amen. That was Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by Radiance Acapella. And if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com and I just thought about this one my friends if you're listening to us live if you're happening to be listening to us live you can put your prayer requests in now as the show is airing and it will come on the screen so if you have a prayer request and if you're listening to us live you can put it on the screen now and it will uh, show up under uh, my comments here while we are doing the show. If you have a prayer request now, because someone just gave me a thumbs up that is listening, and we are appreciative very much of that. And of course, you can go to the messenger page and put your prayer request in there also, or you can put your prayer request on our Facebook as dedicated to the show. Chatting from the Word, hosted by your brother, Brother Oscar York, that slash OscarYorkPublishing.com. Or you can put it on our web page, OscarYorkPublishing.com. And you can use them in uh, them revenue to put your prayer request or get your prayer request to us. If you have a desire for us to pray for your prayer request here on Chatting from the word. As you may know, if you've been sticking with Brother Oscar for quite some time, you know we've been praying for the condition of the world and hoping that people start seeing Jesus Christ and to do what's right and to act accordingly, according to the word, but we know that's not going to occur. But we're still praying for the condition of the world and those who are in the political arena and uh, those that have conjured Con contracted this coronavirus and uh, those that have been slaughtered by the hands of the police, their families, the families of those that are dying from the, the uh, coronavirus uh, disease. And this world, my friends, just at this time is in a terrible place because we don't want to adhere. I, I believe, and some people say we just don't know, but I believe that when the world have gone in a different way from what the Lord wants us to go. Sometimes God try to get our attention and he wants us to pay attention when he, got, when he is trying to get our attention. Now, I believe every thing that occurs is the Lord is trying to uh, tell us something and I truly believe that. I, I, I truly believe that. And if you believe something different, let me know. But I truly believe that's the Lord trying to get us to pay attention to him. I truly believe that. And um, again, if you have a prayer request, you can let us know what your request is while we are airing the program. But before we approach the throne of grace, I would like to read from Psalms, the 46th Division. And here the chief musician writes, he said, to the chief musician, but we recognize that the chief musician is David, 
And David writes these words, God is our refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble. Therefore we not we will not we therefore we not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the seas. Thou the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof so arm. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raised, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, so I. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bowl, he cutteth the spear in sunder, he burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I would be exalted among the heathen. I would be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So lie. Amen and amen. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, our Father, we Recognize that you are our refuge and our strength, our help in the times of trouble, our help in the star in the times of the storms. Oh Father, we cry out to you for that help. Cause sometimes, sometimes it get rough and tough down here. But we your children are trying to do our best to continue to look up. From which cometh all of our help. Oh, Father, we recognize that our help comes from you, and we need help out here at this time to be able to bear the things that we are going through as we live among those that don't understand who you really are. Oh, Father, we come praying. At this time, for those that have contracted the coronavirus, Father, we pray, Father, that you touch them with your finger of love so that they may behold once again and to get up out of their bed in affliction and to see you and you only. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that lost loved ones to this dreadful disease. Father, we pray. Uh, Father, that you be with them at this time of mourning. Father, help them through that morning time. Comfort them. Father, put your loving arms around them and let them know that all will be well. And of course, Father, we pray for those who lost loved ones through the hands of the policeman. Father, we pray that you be with them. Help them through their morning stage also. We recognize it's not easy, Father, when you lose a loved one, especially the way they lost theirs. But, Father, we pray that you be with them also. Oh, Father, we pray for the political world that govern this uh, country in which we live. Father, we pray that you be with them. We pray, Father, that you will allow them to make the right decisions for the right reasons and for all the citizens. We pray, Father, for the election that's coming up, Father, of a new president, or either we keep the old one in place, Father, but Father, we pray that all will go well and according to the way that it should go. Oh, Father, we're praying at this time for the body of Christ, the Church of Christ. Oh, Father, help us to maintain 
your word and teach your word through this pandemic. Help us after all the eyes been down and teeth been across to continue on standing for your word, to continue on standing on the banner of love, truth, and unity. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Help them, Father, through all the problems that they're going through, through all the storms, through all the mountains that they must climb or go through. Allow them to know, Father, the only thing they need to do, regardless how tough and rough it may be, is to keep their hands in your unchanging hands. So, Father, we come praying for those that we are been praying for for quite some time. Father, we pray that you heal their bodies. Father, we pray that you bless them financially. We pray that you bless them to uh, to get along with their children and their children to get along with them. Father, we just pray for all of our listeners uh, coping at this time. Help them to cope. Allow them to recognize that all things, as long as they stick with you, will be all right. And Father, we come praying for our program here, Father, chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us to uh, keep it on the air. Father, we help us uh, that we pray that you help us to financially be able to support this uh, program to keep it on the air. Father, and Father, we pray that each community we come on that we continue on being the light and the guiding light of your Word. Father, Father, we pray for the message that we are going to teach on in a few. Father, we pray that I may say the something to help someone to find a way. That I may say something to help someone through a crisis that they are facing. Oh, Father, we just need you all over the place at this time. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, do we pray. Amen. And Amen. 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 We want to thank you for praying along with us. We hope that uh, we pray for something that is on your mind. We hope that you still have your ears on and that you're listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, to the Free platform where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word and putting a snap. In your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Thank you. Thank you. We're so blessed to do it. And we hope that you're listening. And we hope that uh, we've been some encouragement to you and to your Christian walk. Of course, today we're discussing the Bible and problem Christians face us today. And you know, we truly face problems in the world don't really recognize the Lord today. And we really do. So we are so thankful to bring you this program at this time. Amen and amen. Where am I? We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, we are back, and we're glad to be back, and we hope that you're still listening. We hope that you are. And at this time, we, 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 need, we need help financially to uh, bring this program on Mondays through Fridays and on Saturdays evening. And at this time, we're having... So financial issues, and and most may know because I've talked about them several times, and uh, we are having some issues, and and uh, we appreciate that you donate something to the program. Yesterday was my birthday, you all. Now be nice to me. Uh, I said that yesterday, but don't see no donations coming in yet, and uh, we hope that you have a heart, you know, of love for your brother here, and help us out here. Please do that, okay? And here's our beloved sister in Texas to explain the details to you. If you enjoy Channing from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar York, and would like to support the show, please make a donation. There are two ways to make a donation to the show. 
The first way is to go to paypal.com and put in his email address. The email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or the second way is to zell to his Chase account using the same email address, lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Any donation of any amount will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for your support. Thank you, sis, for detailing that for us. Good job, Sister Wanda says to our sister in Texas, detailing that for us. And we hope that you heard the details of where you can send your donation. Or if you want to sponsor here, us here at Chatting from the Word, we would very much appreciate that. Completely appreciate that, my friends. We really, uh, really would. This is the time that I act if you're listening to the program. And if you are listening, if you are listening to the program, if you do have your ears on, tell your friends about Chatting from the Word. Let them know that we're on Monday through Fridays and on Saturday evenings. Let them know only if you think so, because we want you to preach the truth. If you think we're doing a good job here, encouraging Christians to keep on the Christian wall, as long as you think so. If you don't, just be honest. Uh, don't even much share the show if you don't believe uh, that we're doing a good program here. Okay, Cause I believe we are. I believe we are. Bill Oscar is putting all he has in this program to bring it to you and to keep Christ in uh, the forefront. And if you're listening to our program, share it on Facebook, share it on LinkedIn, and share it on many entities that you are on, and let them know that you are listening to us here, chatting from the Word. Uh, not only if you're listening, but if you are listening, like us. It's a place on a program where you can put your like. Tell me how you like us. Tell me if we're doing a good job or, like I said, bad job. Your brother here can take criticism here. As tough skin, you know, that, that's fine. If you really don't like us. <laughs> but I know we're trying our best here. And then subscribe to us on Chatting from the Word. Uh, be a part of us. Uh, subscribe to us and be a regular listener of the show. And if you listen to our YouTube or our Twitter station or any other station, you can subscribe to that. And if you listen to our YouTube station, subscribe to our YouTube station and uh, ring the bell so that when we're airing, uh, they will notify you when we are on the, the air. And of course, if you ever want to talk with your brother, first of all, email me because if I don't know your number, don't recognize your number, I, I'm not going to answer the the, the number. Uh, that's the way brother, uh, your brother here kind of operates because it keeps me safe from spam and hackers that are out there and there's many of them out there that try to take advantage of people. So email me first and let me know of uh, your phone that, that your phone number that you're going to call me. And again, my email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can message me through our messenger. Many have, and I do appreciate the message. Many have given me a thumbs up. But like I said on yesterday, don't give me a thumbs up until you listen to the program. And then you can uh, give me a thumbs up. And, and those on leaking in, if one brother on leaking in, and I'm not going to share his name with you, I uh, just want to say, wow, he really loved the show. And I do appreciate, appreciate that very much. That encourages me. To keep on going for the Lord. And I believe that's what we are here for. To encourage one another. To stay on the battlefield for the Lord. And this is what your brother here. Tries to do here on chatting. Uh, from uh, the word. We are really. Really crying. And if you want to talk with me again. You can always go to our web page. Which is. OscarYorkPublishing.com And leave a line or two there. But while you're on our webpage, we do have a bookstore. 
Your brother here has authored two books. My first book, which is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which sells for twenty one fifty, and our second book, which is Bridges of Friendships, which also sells for twenty one fifty. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty three dollars. And proceeds will go towards our program here, Chatting from the Word. So do that. Do that right after you listen to the program. Visit OscarYorkPublishing.com and buy you a book and read. Now, you know my motto. We say it every day here on the air. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Yes, it does. So go visit us at yourpublishing.com and order you a book and read. Now, the internet networks we come on is Lave, Zoe Savan, Chrome Webview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, LinkedIn, Generic Android app, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Cashbox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play App Store and download the Freaker Podcast app. And once you have us downloaded, Look us up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar. And once you look us up, put us in your favor so that when Mondays through Fridays come at 2 and Saturdays at 7, at seven you'll be ready to hear a fine program from us here on Chatting from the Word. We hope that you still have your ears on, and we hope that you're still listening Are you still listening, my friends? Are you still listening, my listeners? Are you still listening, my audience? Amen and amen. Our only selection for the show today would be, uh, I've Got Jesus, sung by the Inner City Singers. I've got, I love that song. I've got Jesus. And here we go.
Hey man, hey man, hey man, that was the inner city singers. I've got you. I love that song. I've got Jesus deep down in my soul. I can't sing you all. But you know what, my friends? I don't know about you, but I'd rather have Jesus than a Cadillac. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have Jesus than all the monies in the world. <laughs> Although with my financial situation, money would do me fine, but I'd rather, I'd rather have Jesus. What about you? All right, all right, where are we? Where am I? <laughs> we will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, we're back, we're back, and we're glad to be back. We're glad to be with you today, we really are, and we hope that you have years on, especially for this section here, where we are, are presenting the lesson to you, and we hope that you have your Bibles out, and we hope that you have your Bibles turned to Romans 11. That's Romans 11, chapter, and let's do something different today. We want to begin at... Let's just begin at verse 7, because verse 7 is where we left off on yesterday. And I hope you have the, the rim of the lesson without me going back over the rest of the scriptures. But here, the Apostle Paul, in verse 7, says, What then? He asks the question, What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest was blind. In other words, Paul is saying now, the way that God chose to redeem man, the way God chose to, to save man, Israel was not acceptance of it. They was not acceptance of a humble Jesus coming in in a humble way, there was not acceptance of Jesus teaching about the kingdom is coming. And especially there was not acceptance of him dying on the cross so that we all must have salvation. And Paul said here, the rest were blind. They could not obtain it because they didn't believe. They didn't trust. Nor did they obey. And in verse 8, and I'm not love, well, I would say I love it, but to me, it gets to the pinnacle of the problems that even some are having today. Paul said, according as it is written, God giving them the spirit of slumber eyes, they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. In other words, many of them did not want to hear Christ's message. Many did not want to hear about the body of Christ, the church of Christ. Many did not want to hear that he must die on the cross to bring in salvation. Many just did not want to accept it. And you know what, my friends? Many today, many today do not want to accept the fact that Jesus died on the cross. Many today is trying to eradicate the uh, his death on the cross by bringing in other theories. Read them, they're out there. Uh, they try to say Jesus was this, Jesus was that. They try to say that the, the, the apostles took the body and hid it because they want us to believe that he rose. But I truly believe that he rose on that third day of his crucifixion. And alive today. I believe that. And I hope, my friends, that you believe the same. Because my Lord is definitely much alive today. And many, even many today, do not want to accept him. And you might say, why, Brother Oscar? Because they want to believe something differently from what is taught in scriptures. And that's why we, we, we must be careful, especially if you truly want to be saved, because God has a way, if you especially if you're not going to believe the truth, is to send you delusions. Turn with me quickly. We're going to prove that through Second Thessalonians. 
2 uh, Thessalonians, because time is moving rapidly here. 2 uh, Thessalonians, and I believe the chapter is, is 2. 2 Thessalonians, and the chapter is chapter 2, I believe, and verse 11 and 12. And here Paul says, And for this cause, let me read verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And as many as today do not want to accept the truth of unity, the truth of the body of Christ, the truth of the reason why Christ died. And that is to bring us into one, and that is in his body. And then, in verse 11 says, And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions, that they should believe a lie. And they all might be damned who believed that the truth, not the truth, let me read that again, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in Unrighteousness. Oh, my friends, that they, they, they hit the nail on the, they hit the nail on the head, didn't it? Many of us today, we don't want to believe. Many of us today do not want to stick with the truth. And uh, you might be saying, why, "Why you say that, brother Oscar?" Because many of you today don't, they, you're turned off by the program when I mention God only has one way. Many of you today are turned off when I mention about the body of the Church of Christ. Many of you today are turned off when I say there's only one way and Christ is that way. Many today are turned off about the Word of God. Many have told me, Brother Oscar, if you didn't teach about the Church of Christ, you know you have more listening to you. My friends, I'm under the understanding that God wants us to preach truth. And that's what I'm going to do, is to tell you the truth, regardless who may listen or who may not listen. Regardless how many listen, I'm not listen. I might have just one little old listener, but that's all right, because whoever is listening, I'm going to tell the truth, because the truth, my friends, is more important for you to know than anything. I'm not going to teach you man theory. I'm going to teach you what thus says the Lord. Because, as we just said here, God has a way of sending us strong delusions so that we will believe a lie. Isn't that something? That's why when we are talking about salvation, we must make sure that we are going by God's word. Because it's so, how can Prilaska say this? There's so many false teachings out there in the world that have many, many, many believing the mess that they're teaching. And if you don't believe that, look, look, look on your TV. Look on your TV every Sunday and sometimes every day. They're carrying the majority of the people. They have packed theaters and arenas with people. Look at it. But my friends, that's only one way. There's only one way. There's only one way. And as Paul said, and, and I'd like to reread this again in Romans, like Paul said in, in our text in Romans 11. Uh, Romans 11, verse 8. Uh, verse 8 and, uh, and verse 8 and uh, verse 8 and 9. He said, according as it is written, God had given them the spirit of some eye that they should not see, and ear that they should not hear, unto this day. And David said, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Amen. And amen. That recompense is a witness to them. My friends, if you truly understand about the body, the Church of Christ. We hope that you accept the one way, unity, the one Christ, 
and the one Lord. And if you want to accept the Lord today, you come by hearing the gospel, believing it, repenting of your sins, confessing Jesus, being baptized in whatever grave of baptism connecting you with the blood, and then it places you or you'll be added to the assembly, the body of Christ. And if you live faithful until the end, heaven will be your home. And if that be your desire, want to do this. Connect with the local church of Christ, the body of Christ. Look up in your directory if you don't have a loved one that's in the body of Christ. Contact the minister, the elder, or the deacon says, I heard the gospel. I want to be saved. And they will baptize you. Amen. That's simply said, simply put. Just tell them you want salvation. And you understand the truth. And they will baptize you. Placing you or you'll be added to that number that meet at that place. Amen, amen. We're going to end the lesson and we hope that we've said something today to cause you to think about your soul condition before you close your eyes in death. Amen, amen, amen. Again, we enjoy bringing you this lesson today. We enjoy bringing you this program today. We hope that we have put a snap in your Christian walk. And two, join us tomorrow Tomorrow night at 7, where we're going to be playing all your a cappella hits on the music edition Saturday night. And I must say our, my goodbyes, and we hate to say our goodbyes, but we must. Will you pray with me, please? Uh, Father, we join heaven, the Lord be thy name. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the time that we had to spend with all our listeners. We pray for each listener. At this time, we pray, Father, for the trouble and the storm that they are going through in their lives. We pray, Father, for the good times that they are having also. And, Father, we pray, we just pray for the world in this condition, too. Now, Father, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And again, it was nice chatting with you today from Chatting from the word. Bye-bye. Be good and be. Be good.